What up, squad? I'm here with Blur, Smash aficionado, as well as just an overall good guy. Is that correct? Should I say that? Sure, let's go with that. I feel like there may be someone hooked who disagrees with that. Let's see. Oh, that'll do it. Clean. Wave dash out of shield, F smash there. Blur. Blur's proud, man. I feel, I feel it. I feel it's like, oh man, that one time I took two stacks of hugs. He was a piece of work, let me tell you what. He's a piece of work. Yeah. So how did you get your start in Smash, or gaming overall? Was Smash that game that you immediately went to, or was there something else and then you found the community? Yeah, so I actually started playing competitive Smash in like 2004, so I've been doing it since I'm 14. I hosted my first tournament actually when I was 14, so I've just been doing it for a very long time. It's almost been like, so, part of me for so long that um, it's just always been a part of my life. Basically, yeah. um, is there any crazy stories that you remember, like or plays when you were a kid that you're like, you never want those videos to show up? Because I mean, we could break the news right here. Unfortunately, all of my biggest videos are my biggest losses. <laughs> so, so that's like a thing I got going on, and they're the most, some of the most memorable ones. But um, honestly, you know, it's fun as long as people are having fun with it. It's a good time. Yeah, you learn from your losses. So you've been in the community for quite some time. How would you say the state of the community is now compared to what it was before? Yeah. So, I mean, esports has, has come around and become bigger, so it's definitely changed things. Like, we now have like this Red Bull event, for example, yeah. different relationships that go on. So it definitely helps a lot, And uh, but we've now had that going on for like five, six years, and I think it starts to stabilize a little bit, and we're starting to have like really good, you know, continuous cycle of seasons for events. So, I mean, we're, we've been now an active community for like 18 years, so it's, it's been a long history. So what would it take for the Melee community to hop on to Ultimate? Um, honestly, nothing. Nothing would have anything happen. No. no, I mean, like, some people will play for fun, but, like, to get us away from our favorite game, like, this this thing, we have we have such an attachment to it that it's, many people call us maniacs, many people, many people call us crazy, but it means on a genuine, like, deep down level uh, so much to us. So, like, during the release of, you know, leading up to Ultimate, was there any part of you that was hoping to get an experience like Melee? Were you were you hopeful at all? No, no I mean, honestly, um, the direction they've gone with Smash is, is beautiful in its own way. Ultimate's actually a pretty dope game. It's just not a Melee direction, so what ends up what ended happening with the community is that there's basically two halves, right? And uh, they're both awesome halves, and they're both cool, but pretty separate at the end of the day. So you mentioned that you've done a lot of things. You're not lugging those TVs around anymore, but you have at one point. You TO as well. You've played. Uh, you start your own org. How do you manage all of that? And how do you know when it is ready to go to that next step? Well, I mean, I have a lot of experience with it now, so I think that helps. Um, but for me, I just try to do what's best for the people. That's like my guiding like line, which is like, look, if it's good for the community, then I should do it. Yeah. That's usually how I strategize it in my head. And then actually managing people is not that hard because what turns out about the community that's so great is whenever you need help, they'll help you right back. Um, it's just a beautiful group of people who will always support you in your worst of situations. Like sometimes I've held events that like basically everything's on fire and then it turns out everyone around me is just helping me and they're just saving me. So uh, the game and the community just carry us all the way. So what would you just say to someone who's wanting to start out in the community in terms of getting the in with the Smash community? Well, my first thing would always be, don't worry about your results in your first tournament. Don't think, I'm not good enough to go to my first tournament, because honestly, no one is. And everyone loses at the beginning, like, for a long time. The main thing to do when you're first starting out is build a social network and build, basically, a group of friends at the beginning. It doesn't have to be a conscious effort, um, but uh, build that first, because those are the people who are going to make you better. Uh, when you look at the cases of, uh, throughout history of people becoming really good at the game, really prominent in the game, whether it's an organizer, or commentator, or whatever, it's always when it's the people around that bring them up. That's true. Yeah. Um, speaking of the people around you, I don't know if you know this, but you and Squad, us, we have something in common. I'm going to let you know what it is. Hudson's leg. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, a few years ago, you shaved his leg. True, with my mouth. I, the razor was in my mouth. I haven't. We had to do it. Okay, two swipes. You get two swipes. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh my god, dude. This is too much. Okay. That's I'm swipe. better this way. Okay. You're better now. this way? <laughs> He's a natural with the mouth. And now you have that ingrained in your memory forever? It's for charity, so for people who are watching the stream, we, ha we did it for charity for the kids. Oh right. no. <laughs> oh no. 
There you go. He actually is better. He's actually better with I did this. a really good job. Why are you better with your mouth? I did a really good job. On our show, one of our hosts actually waxed Hugs' leg on the show. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. That one was worse. That one was worse. Oh. See, that's weird because he's into it. Like, he was way too eager about volunteering to do the whole shaving legs thing. Like, I know it's for charity, but come on, man. Do some volunteer work for the charity. Why right, the we, leg? No one actually asked for this. Charity didn't ask for it. Yeah. He's just out there be like, I'll shave my leg, guys. Thank you so much for your time, and maybe we'll wax Hugs' leg together someday. I hope not. <laughs> but, but, yeah. <laughs>